do what I can. We're joined tonight by my uh, my brother from another mother, my brother from another continent. It is, of course, Drone Tech himself. There he is. Hey, thanks, man, for having me. How are you me. doing, dude? Oh, I'm doing great, uh, considering, all things considered. Uh, is he not going not, to uh, wanted? <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's pretty chaotic. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how much I buy into yet, anyway, uh, that these this uh, election interference that we're seeing, uh, voter fraud and all this, that is going to amount to much. I doubt it will. Uh, but there are there are some strange things going on out there with the election, <laughs> yes. and it's just further it's just further uh, dividing the country, further uh, lowering people's confidence and uh, trust in all the institutions in this country. And uh, while it is our institutions that are doing that, they're doing it themselves, especially the media, which I know uh, Aphid Lip was just waiting for me to get to. Um, <laughs> it's the, it's them, it's the media and stuff that's doing it. They blame Russia, but it, they're doing it. Oh, 100%, and I can go on and on about that. Hundred percent. I'm no one. I don't think anyone could argue with that. It's like Graham said just before when we were talking about this, and it, 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 remarkably accurate. Is you know at the moment they've all got somebody to kick Trump. What are they going to do if Biden wins and all the problems continue? Mm. Well, I mean, that's change? obvious. What's going to change? <laughs> well, the media coverage will change. Yeah, but Overnight, I don't think it'll solve literally. it now. I think division is permanent. Well, no. Division is Well, permanent. here's the thing. Well, it's permanent, yeah. The things in this country, I don't see them going back to normal anytime soon. I mean, there's deep divisions that have been growing long before Trump got into office. I mean, Trump really was a response. He is a result of that division, really. Well, I think... Um, and yeah, people, I don't think much will change. A lot of people don't remember what it was like with George Bush. Yeah. And then, you know, when Obama came in, um, all the abuse that went that way. And I think, uh, to me, as an outsider, I think Trump's election was, was a reaction to great, great swathes of America that felt that they had been ignored and, and not catered for. Not racists, not, not, not monsters, just ordinary working people that felt they weren't getting a look in between the coasts. Right. Right, and, and yeah, there's a lot to, to talk about there, but I mean, that is exactly why Trump got in office. And it's not, if I thought that Trump was actually a racist, I would never vote for him or support him. I mean, I, you can see not. that, uh, right. And I can see that a lot of that, I mean, a lot of that is built on misquotes that the media has just repeated over and over, like the very fine people thing. And he's never, how many times did Joe Biden go out there and say, he's never, never uh, condemned white nationalists. There's literally like videos everywhere of him doing it over 20 times over the last four or five years. So it's, it's obviously not true. And, uh, yeah, I mean, none of that stuff's going to be fixed by Joe Biden winning. And all that's going to change is that overnight the media is going to become very rosy. All yes. the spin will just become positive. Those corona death counts, gone. I mean, that kind of stuff will be gone. So people will have a sense. That's really what people are voting for. The media just, like, puts people through a torture chamber for four, for four years or eight years, whenever a Republican is in. And then once the Democrat in, oh, it's everything's great now. You know, and... A good example, when Bush was president, high gas prices were a big news item. As soon as Obama gets in, you can find all these news reports about, oh, well, if you're driving less, it's better for the environment. And there's a silver lining to high gas prices. So that's the kind of thing we'll get. Isn't that the interesting thing when people talk about Trump? As you know, as an individual human being, I, I find him a detestable person. But when I look at him as a president, yeah, I mean, the Twitter thing, you know, is a source of endless amusement to me. But he's, he's his own worst killed, enemy a lot of the time. He's killed a lot less people than Obama. Yeah. A lot less. You know, less drone yeah. strikes. No new wars. Um, countries in the Middle East sending peace accords. You, you know, I mean, who would have thought you'd have seen Sudan and Israel talk about peace? Yeah. And I, I think it wouldn't matter if Trump rode through the streets of Portland on a unicorn handing out a million dollars and a cure for corona to each, each person. I don't think it'd matter now. It's the fact of his brash personality plus the media, because the media, I, you know, as an outsider, it's been painfully obvious how oh. stacked it's been. 
And um, I'm just actually amazed he didn't run away with it this year as well. I really am. Good time, Mom. Yeah, I'm like, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, me too. It, it's business, pretty, dude. I'm sorry. It's pretty crazy that you have literally the day that Trump was inaugurated, they started with the um, impeachment talk, the media and Democrats started. And then uh, at the same time, you had that Steele dossier come out. And that went on for months before they kind of that kind of dribbled out. But it just shows that, like, you know, when a Demo when a Republican is elected, they can it's a, a big conspiracy theory to explain it. And then you'll notice now that anybody questioning anything about this election now, they're calling those people conspiracy theorists. Mm. And that's why I say the only legitimate election is one that's won by Democrats. The only legitimate election interference is interference that harms the Democrats. You're going to see that they're going to say the all clear. Everything's good. You're not going to anything about Russian foreign interference or anything like that. So, oh, yeah, no, the media no, is. Go. Yeah. I mean, they're going to just say, oh, it's all good. It, it, we already saw that with the 2018 uh, midterm elections. It was saying, mm. oh. No interference. It's all good. So, I mean, you would think that people would see through that, but you'd have a large chunk of the country that, that they may see it, but it's a means to an end. And so they rationalize it to themselves. Well, I said that the swing has been very interesting online um, because the very people that were on their knees screaming four years ago are now telling everyone online, just take the L, dude. Just take well, the L. They take mostly are. Calmly. Yeah. Well, yeah. No I mean, I think that's no going to be par for the up. course. Yeah, no one's boarding up their stores because they're frightened of conservatives. Exactly. <laughs> you know, that's, you, that's okay. Speaking of Sky News, yeah, speaking of Sky News, did you happen to see that, Graham, the uh, interview with uh, Bailey, I think her name is? And she's asking about, uh, she's asking uh, Sebastian Gorka about boarding up businesses and suggesting that that's because of Trump supporters. Oh, yeah. And he's like, that's insane. He's like, why do you think they're all putting like BLM and stuff on these? And she's like, oh, because they support Black Lives Matter. <laughs> yeah. Like, how dense can you be, really? But I just feel like we operate in this alternate. You know, Brian Stelter and those guys always talk about the right wing multiverse and the alternate universe. But it's like that's what they're con there is like multiple universes going on. But I mean, they're the ones creating them, or at least they are also doing it. Oh yeah, the narrative's been set. I don't think there's there, there can't be any doubt. But here's the thing: if I mean, we know it's actually not as clear cut as everyone believes. It could still go Trump. Yeah, it could. it could. You know, if if Nevada flips and he gets the other states, it could still go Trump clean cut. But yep. if Biden wins by this narrow, narrow margin, um, and you've got four years of Bi well, Harris. Let's face it, Biden's not making a full term, is he? Um, you got President Harris um, and Vice President AOC. <laughs> I don't um, even want to think about it. Don't even. Oh, yeah. I, I, That's a nightmare fuel. I'm lucky I live abroad. It will be very, very funny. Um, it's, it's been fun <laughs> for us in the UK. We've got such a shit show right now that looking at you guys has been fucking great. Um, but if you yeah. have four years of Biden being crippled by a Senate, these ridiculous ideas about equity and stuff that's been put out there are unachievable. Right. Are you going to call Trump 2024? Um. I think that Trump uh, won't run, but somebody made from the Trump family, something Ooh. like that. Um, I, I think you're right. I think you're right about Biden uh, basically not going to be able to get anything done. Hmm. Um, so I'm fine. You know, I don't I, to me, it's not that big of a deal if Trump loses, because I see another opportunity for the media to be just so blatant. And they're, you know, propagandizing for the administ Biden administration that, uh, it'll, you know, it's just another way for me. It just gives me more material to go out there and show people. And I guarantee you, you do a polling four years from now, trust in the media is going to have plummeted another 20%. Oh, 100%. And your subscribers will have gone up. Yeah, um, hopefully. 20%. Yeah, yeah, the seats were stagnated. We've, yeah. we've had the link all the time. Do go in and join. You know, he's, 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 if you're of the left persuasion, Drone Tech's very much the voice from the more conservative persuasion that's worth listening to. You know, because he's reasonable <laughs> he's, he's not mental you know you can't listen to extreme leftists you can't listen to extreme hard right people but it's a conservative voice that me not really being a conservative thinks should be louder we need we need balance if you want to have a rounded opinion you've got to listen to different people and i would recommend his channel um granted sometimes he has people on that i would describe as a stereotype but it's good listen Pay attention. 
and then nip over to the Antifa channel and get the other side. I bet you hang out there yeah. a lot, don't you, Drone Tech? Oh, yeah, big time. I, <laughs> I, uh, I do troll their Facebook channels. Though, of, see course going. They're, of course they're you do. They're near me, maybe. <laughs> well, of course, we, we now have the uh, Democratic Republic of Antifa. That's where Portland is. Yeah. Um, but the interesting thing uh, about one, this election, I do want to say one thing. Yeah. I do want to quickly, uh, before we move on from that, if, if I don't know if I'm saying on, but uh, the one thing to look for over there is you're going to see some protest people protesting against the way this election's been handled, and the media is just going to is just going to smear them and destroy them. Oh, so yes. that's going to happen, and it, and that goes to my other rule that the only legitimate uh, protest is one that's pushing their agenda. Anything into opposition to that, not legitimate protest. So that oh, rule, will, I'm sure, hold steady. Oh yeah. Well, did you see that? Did you see that woman spitting in the policeman's face? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like just, I, I made a post. I'm like, is that attempted murder? I mean, just based on their standards. We were just talking about that, the same death. thing. Because normally yeah. spitting on someone would just be assault, wouldn't it? Uh, right. Uh, but Twitter here, posts, they were all they were all going after the cop. Oh, so that cop. Find out who he is. Get his name spread out there. He should have tased her. I'm right. sorry. If someone's spitting in your face, the least you deserve is a tasing. And then a mild introduction to the baton. You know, just some corrective yeah. education. Because here in the UK, dude, our police educate the shit out of the anti-lockdown people. Ooh, yeah, I've seen that. But they don't educate the people outside the French embassy complaining. They don't educate BLM, obviously. Um, the Extinction Rebellion gluing themselves to shit, we don't educate them too hard. But if you go outside <laughs> in this country and say you don't want to wear a mask, they'll educate the shit out of you. Oh, yeah. I saw the, did you see the Rebel Media video uh, where uh, Ari or Ashy, I can't remember what his name is, uh, did a comparison of how the uh, anti-mask protest went or the anti-lockdown compared to how the police were kneeling for the BLM protest there. And then they were they were spraying down with pepper spray. These people were just not wearing masks. Oh yeah, it was just like, like that. I mean, the one today. There's a million mask march down in London. Thousands of people anti-lockdown because as you know, we've just entered another national lockdown here in the UK. Right. Um, on bonfire night, strangely enough. And there's a video out there. The police have kettled them, so there's nowhere for them to go, and they're trapped with police screaming at them to go home, and they're like. We, we can't. And I think the police, what they're going to wait for is for people to get annoyed and then the education batons come out. Yeah. Because they're it's kind of, It's disturbing. Do... Yeah, it's disturbing how they seem to, like, really be into it. And it's like, man, how could you... But, you know, you've seen these experiments with, you know, uh, authority figures and, and when they're dealing with people that they see as below them, they do mistreat them. It's cool. kind of a psychological thing that happens. But I will say that we are watching this in America, what's happening over there, and I'm not, I don't think it's very funny or entertaining. It, it's disturbing no, it, me it's, that it's happening there. It's very disturbing what's going on, and it's probably going to wind up spreading. Well, you've already got trouble on the streets as it is, but without that. Yeah. Um, so I don't see it getting very much better anytime soon. I, I really, <laughs> really don't. No. Um, Seems we're headed the other direction somehow. Yeah, yeah we're getting worse. Game was it's like we started to get started to gain a foothold and they just smacked it down yeah well th th there might be something i'm sure some people watching right now will have many opinions on why that might be and i know we might but we'd probably only speak about them in private um yeah but yeah the, the world's a changed place dude we're gonna move on but listen thank you so much for making the time for us and um i, I know we always say it but i'd like you to come on a little more often so we can see yeah, more of you and get more of your input and more of your voice because, yeah, I'm going to try and get Aphid Lip on as well to get the uh, the flip side. We he should. Doesn't know, be good. He doesn't I'd like to be on with him. Cry. I think he's just got Well, thank you for having do. me on, Hayden. I appreciate it. No, dude, every time it's a pleasure, mate. A pleasure. Thanks very much for coming to see us. Everybody go and subscribe immediately. And he's at Drone Tech on the, uh, on the Twitter. Dude. Catch you soon. Take care. There we go. That was the mighty drone tech joining me there. I love it when he comes on. I really like having him on. He's such a cool guy. He's a really good lad, isn't he? He's, he's, yeah, he's awesome. I've really, I got a lot of time for him. And I do, uh, yeah, I enjoy You're right what you said as well. You know, if you want to get...
different views from different people. A balanced people. voice. Yeah, he's yeah. definitely the person to go for for the non-mental, like, um, and a, a really good thing that he started doing, but which has been sort of curbed a little bit with lockdown now, is getting his ass out on the streets. So if there is a protest going, yeah, he was out he'll be there, there, wasn't he? I loved. I was really that was I, that was my favorite stuff of his, and I loved his experimentations with like building a, a like a, a remote mic. Yeah. I remember at one point he had a lapel mic on a wooden spoon. And he's like, yeah, this isn't working, this is it. And it's just like, oh, mate, just do just do a GoFundMe or something, please. Buy a, he's buy out a there mic. doing it, you know? Yeah, no, but, I, well, that's what I like. I love that. Going out, right, that didn't work. We'll try it this way. We'll try it this way. Nothing but respect for that. It's, and it's the kind of actual journalism that we desperately need. Well, that's citizen um, journalism. That's something I yeah. always wanted to see more of. And he's out there doing it, you know, doesn't... Because it's never mattered whether he's, he was left-leaning or right-leaning. He's a reasonable and intelligent human being. So you should listen if he's got something to tell you. You don't have to agree. It doesn't have to be your cup of tea, but you should listen. Because everything we take in forms our opinion, even especially the ones that think, oh, nothing sways me, I'm very strong. It's bullshit. Everything affects us uh, that we take in. So, you, you know, it's sometimes a nice change to hear something that isn't media control, but still reasonable and well put together. So there we go. We've kissed his ass plenty now, that's fine. That's definitely a thank you for coming out. I'll I tell you what, right? This is this is the best example of it right now. If you're on Twitter or you're on the on, you're on the media, all you're hearing from Trump right now is stop the count. Yeah. Whereas what he actually said was stop the count so we can get independent people in there to verify. But he doesn't as you're help doing it on Twitter. Yeah. Trump did in caps. Oh yeah, he wrote it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop the count. Stop the count. <laughs> but that's the thing, though. Like at the moment, like like there's no there's no journalists that are saying that. No. Yeah, like, they'll they'll sort of they'll sneak in and say, oh yeah, yeah. Well, he's he's won the case now to have independent, you, to, you know, to have people come in and verify the rest of the count. And it's but it, but it, it, if you if you even if you're watching Sky News, if you if you're watching like mainstream stuff, they're framing it in such a way that he's trying to like. Just stop it now. So there's people just going, well, actually, Trump. It's always been the same with Trump. It's like the yeah. very fine people quote. Yeah, the very fine people one. It, it, it's the same sentence. Yeah. They just cut the they beginning just take, off. They top and tail it. Top and tail it every time. Um, it's insane, man. And it's not going to stop when he's gone. I'll tell you that right now. It's not going to stop. Drone Tech. Uh, yeah, cheers, dude. We have we got an awesome community, and we'll definitely have to do more streams, mate, on each other's stuff. We've we got to keep the conversation going. So...